guys, welcome back to Home Built and the never ending dash project on Harry 911. Alrighty, so um, those of you who have been watching the last few weeks will have seen that I've been working on redoing the uh, the, the tartan insert for my dash on uh, on Harry here. And uh, the last couple of weeks in particular, I've been working on building this lower dash pad for Harry. If you've missed it, I'll put a link up above so you can catch up and uh, think about subscribing. It does help us out. Now, I was really happy with my uh, second attempt last week on this lower dash pad. Until I drove to Cars and Coffee and uh, I realized where I messed up. See, most of these, uh, these 911s, particularly the newer ones, uh, that, the 964s, etc., that have these vents in them, have electric windows. I have manual windows and the window winder hits <laughs> on both sides and I can't actually get it past to wind up and wind down the windows, which is an issue. So there is a reason why they usually cut off at an angle. Now, I think I can get enough clearance. As long as I can get the handle past, I don't mind that I can't actually grip around it and wind it quickly or whatever. As long as I can get the handle past, it will be good. But that means that I need to rethink the dash pad again. So uh, if it's worth doing, it's worth doing three times, obviously. So let's pull it out. This should be a relatively easy fix because the foam is already there. Um, I've just uh, put the fiber filler over it. So just to send the fiber filler off, bring it back far enough so that I actually have clearance. And, uh, and then I can just uh, probably put the same trimming back on again. It shouldn't be too much of an art drama. So let's do that. All right, so I've just gone through and I've sanded back the ends on both sides. So it does have a bit of an arc to the uh, the dash pad now, which actually seems to flow better with the, uh, the dash. It is not perfectly straight. Um, and um, I've cut it back and I'm just gonna do my final trial fit to make sure we actually have clearance for window winders. Uh, <laughs> so moving forward, the dash pad will actually work. We have clearance. It's not a lot, but there is a bit. And on the other side, we also have clearance. So there's enough room there to put some, uh, the fiberglass filler over it and retrim it. So uh, let's get it out and uh, make it nice again. So while I wait for that to set up, I'm going to start redoing the mount for this corner vent. The uh, issue I have is that it's uh, just floating in space, so I'm going to build some reinforcing that I can weld in to get it to fit and sit nice and solid into the car. All right, and that is now nice and solid. I've got my mount um, basically how I want it. So I can just put, uh, I'm gonna grind back a little bit and cut, put a couple of tacks in with a MIG welder just to uh, hold it firmly in place. And then I've got my framework in that'll hold my vent, 
everything nice and uh, and secure and then I could start looking at uh, finishing off my lower dash pad again and uh, putting on an end cap. Okay, and speaking of the lower dash pad, I've got both ends all nice and tidied up now, so it's time to try and trim it again. Hopefully, this time, it can stay in the car. All right, and you can see I have the dash pad back in again, and uh, I, uh, I still need to obviously trim this panel just to get it nice and square. So uh, I'll take the, uh, the dash pads in now. I can wind up and down the windows, which is the important part. So uh, we can pull it all out and start tacking this uh, corner piece in to hold in the vents and uh, get everything perfectly lined up. All right, so it's hard to uh, actually film a black piece in a black interior, but that uh, little piece is now welded in. I just did a few tacks, tidied it up, and uh, I'm still gonna be putting a cover over this end so that it looks nice and neat, but that will now line up, and uh, eventually I'll be able to uh, stick this center panel on so that it perfectly lines up with the existing center panel and the uh, vent panel there so that it is all nice and neat and consistent. So now let's go over and do the driver's side. All right, and I've got the uh, the little panel on this side as well. Now, again, this is only an internal panel. I'm gonna put a cover over the top, but that gives me something that I can drill a hole into and screw into. And um, while we're talking about it, on the vent side of things, um, to attach these through to um, the 40 millimeter tubes inside, I got onto my trusty 3D printer again, and I designed up and made up these um, simple little ducts um, those little notches there are to, uh, to get around uh, one of the little shapes in the back of the vent. So this, this uh, shape is perfectly sized for the 964 vent and then it just converts it down to this duct on a slight angle and, uh, and that will uh, make it nice and easy to plumb it all together. So uh, let's uh, start looking at what we're going to do about putting a little end cap onto the end of these. So, um, I've made a template up for the little panel that I want to put on the side, just a nice, just a finishing dress panel to make it look uh, nice and neat. And um, actually, a big thanks to Peter, uh, one of the patrons, who actually uh, dropped off a, uh, a bunch of this plastic that he had. Um, and this has actually got a bit of a like, a, like a vinyl texture to it, so it should sort of match in quite nicely. So I think this is gonna be the perfect thing to go onto the edges there. So thank you very much, Peter. And um, I'm gonna cut out the, uh, the little corner piece now and see how we go fitting it onto the side of the car.
Okay, so I've made my little corner pieces for either side, and to be honest, I'm not overly happy with the finish. It's not, it's not terrible, but it's just, it's just like a flat piece cut out is just not good enough. I might actually do a uh, 3D printed uh, cap of some sort and uh, and make it so it sort of just has a little bit of shape around the edges, just so it looks a little bit nicer. Um, that should be pretty easy. But for the time being, I'm calling that dash done. Oh, except I've got to glue this little tweeter back in. People are asking what this was. Uh, it's the uh, it's the tweeter for my uh, speakers. So uh, that uh, that little cap just needs to be glued back on again. So I just need to uh, glue in my um, my panels for good, and we are completely done on the dash. Woohoo! All right, well, uh, that, like everything I do, took so much longer than it was supposed to. This lower dash pad and uh, just redoing this dash should have taken me a week, and it's been four, I think. Um, but it's done. Um, obviously, I've got to wait to uh, take the tape off of these things. It's still got the uh, the Sikaflex that's drying, but it's all done. I do have to go through and replace these lower bolts with some... Um, countersunk uh, allen head bolts i've already i've just got them all and i just haven't replaced them yet but it is looking really good and uh i can now wind the windows up and down but i still got more to do on harry because i'm going to get i'm getting ready in a few weeks time to uh to do my tazzy pilgrimage that i did uh similar to what i did a couple of years ago so uh and harry is going to be coming along so uh, i've got to make sure that everything is tip top and ready to go for a, uh, a week of uh, fun driving. So uh, hopefully you guys will join us for that. Um, hopefully you, enjoy, you like this. Uh, if you're enjoying what we're doing and you wanna help out, um, join us on Patreon. It does help us out and uh, you get to watch the videos a day earlier than everybody else, ad free. And if you need any parts for any Porsches, make sure you compare prices at PorschePartsByJeff.com first. All right guys, we'll see you next time.